Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So I've told you guys, Menagerie, one of the best builds out there. But there's a little bit of a, a detail that I wanted to mention, and it has to do with one card that I'm a, a little bit infamous for. It's Iron Sensei. Iron Sensei buffs another mech by plus two, plus two every turn. Um, I think this card is actually very good, and most people don't think the card is very good at all. Now, I've played this card in builds where I just have a bunch of mechs on the board, and it's okay in those builds. It's still kind of worth it because you're just constantly getting buffs every turn, and mechs are typically cards that scale very well with stats. They have divine shields, they have death rattles, they have, you know, just increasing size like junk bots. It's very important to get just a head start on it. But of course, none other is quite as strong as Cobalt, a card that can start with Divine Shield and recast its Divine Shield throughout the game is actually crazy. So one build that I've done a few times now and it's been very successful each time is you get Cobalt, you get your Iron Sensei, Iron Sensei buffs the Cobalt, no other mechs. And you play Menagerie, so it's the double mech Menagerie build. Now sometimes the Iron Sensei will take a buff from um, Light Fang, but that's okay. You can get some stats on your um, uh, on your Iron Sensei. You can give it Taunt Divine Shield, you give it the Death Rattle with the uh, Replicating Menace, and you have a Cobalt that's gigantic with at least one Cobalt refresh, and maybe in the end you slide in another. And that's your double mech Menagerie build that's actually from my experience, one of the best builds you can have, featuring one of the most underrated cards in the game. Hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. We got you guys covered for content, don't you worry. All right, I'm gonna try this AFK dragon thingy again. Not so successful the first time where we just ended up with a bunch of trash beasts. This time we'll actually think of dragons and they will materialize in front of us because that's how reality works. Didn't you see that one psychic dude? Some guy says it, it's true, okay. Ready to get started? Dragons, crappy beasts, Murloc. <sighs> so, what are, you, what are we looking for? We're looking for a mech in case we get a Cobalt, some trash beasts in case we get the beast guy or Cadgar, some demons in case we get Juggler. That just hits the beast. I'm Pass. For you. Definitely pass. Welcome back. My luck beast dragon, yeah. Crowd favorite. No, I think the pack leader is better. Cobalt. Fine. Now we, we roll until we get like the mech thing. The other mech thing, preferably. Yeah, I want the want the mecharoo. Oh, okay. How about pulled that cool dragon thingy though? Not once. The win more guy. Yeah. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Fine, I can I can probably win without it. Ooh, that's pretty nice. All right. Favorite new hero. Hmm. Galakrond's pretty fun. You can rush to six while being low tier. Nas is nice. Free reset. I don't know what my favorite one is. I think it would be Alistraza if Cobalts wouldn't constantly knock me out like the turn after I hit five. It's too many of those experiences were like, oh, this is going to be so awesome. And then double Cobalt, 5 refresh, take 17 damage. Welcome back. How's it going out there? Alright, I guess. Millhouse isn't good. Uh, he's good mid-game, but yeah, it's just... Usually a strategy is you, you, you focus on doing something... Like you focus on buffing the same dragons the same way. So almost every strategy... Actually, maybe every strategy 
just requires a lot of re-rolling, which is not exactly Millhouse's strong point. So yeah, Millhouse kind of doesn't hold up in the late game at all. Did Millhouse change? It's uh, a good question. I do not believe he did. Defeated first place. It's a good hit. Your minions really pulled their weight. I'm gonna freeze for a harvest golem refresh. Just because it'll let me tear up really quick. Should have bought harvest golem first. I thought about it, but I don't think so. Okay, I should have my harvest going first. Shit. Any defeat that doesn't destroy you makes you strong. I think I'll have to sit on four for a turn, getting a bit too low. Card pool is not really diluted that much. There's certain certain tiers where it's diluted a lot. Like there's a lot of new Tavern 6 cards, which I think is fine. They were just so few before. Losing fights go for the level. Uh, I mean, the guy I lost to was way powerful. Yeah, can't always just play the next turn. Uh, I think leveling there is, is the right call. It's unfortunate, but 22 health is still something we can work with. That guy's third place. We did basically nothing. And we won. The guy we played was just crazy OP. Alright, Hydra's good. Gotta stay on this though. For now, anyway. I like where you're going with this. You down a minion and up a goal. Come close and listen. I'm gonna try to play a menagerie again. Hydra fourth. Fine. Just think it gets a bit tricky. Like the cobalt's more valuable than the hydra. Keep up the momentum, friend. But okay. Cobalt might be able to take a hit or two. That sucks. Hey, I won. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. The problem with the Metal Tooth Leaper is if I play it, I have to sell it again because I don't want it to steal a buff. Kind of an oh my. Oh, she went to five this turn. I think I'm going to take a hit. Probably lose here, but that's okay. Actually, it's perfectly okay. Actually, I think it might be best if I lose. Or oh, I sell both. I want to guarantee the beast buff goes on the Hydra. I'm pretty weak right now. But 22 is, is not... I'm not going to die. Well, hopefully. Holy shit, might die. Mm. 
Oh, okay. That's an extreme high roll. <laughs> he just went to five, so... S some pretty good cards picked up. Welcome back. How's it going out there? I don't know if I want a Murloc quite yet. Dragon's okay. No, I, I, I think we, we try to find some other goods here. Murloc Beast. Really? That's what I would have picked. Trust in the light. Harness them. Alright. Losing is off. Don't need to yet. Still the best card. Now, we do not want more than one beast because we want all of the beast buffs to land on the Hydra. How much longer is this stream? It's going to end near or at regular time. I mean, I'm still feeling pretty good. It's only been like 12 and a half hours. No, it's been like 13 and a half hours. Whatever, it's fine. Stick around for next time. Yeah, I'm gonna freeze for the Divine Shield Taunt for the Iron Sensei. Bran is a good win condition. Okay, so the reason I didn't pick Bran is because I don't have a Murloc, and if I got a Murloc, there's no space anymore. You can't really do Bran and Light Fang if you're gonna do double mech. I think you can win this thing. That's the problem. And I think I want to stick to double mech. I think double mech's gonna work. Lose this one to the tokens. Yeah, definitely lose it to the tokens. One token though. Not too bad. Too bad. The battle is really raging out there. That's what I would have picked. Better hire a recruit while you can. Oh. I don't know if I can live, though. I would want to brand it. Maybe we just have to take the risk. Let's see his history real quick. He tied Van Cleef. Van Cleef lost to Malagos. Malagos hit the ghost, like, one turn before that for, like, one less damage than I did. Lost to Alastraza. Alastraza's pretty insane, though. Alastraza's killing everyone. Nah, I, I, think, I think we hold it. Good. Oh, we killed him. But I think I'll roll one more for Brant. Oh yes, okay. 
Yes, this is worth it. It's uh, pretty hard to kill now. <laughs> Changes I have to make though. I have to attack with the Cobalt early. I don't think I'm gonna try to triple brand. There's no room for it. Yeah, one. Yeah, the Annihilum Battlemaster kills his entire board. Literally kills every single card on his board. Nothing's got more than 20 health, so... I might die to Alistraza. Alistraza seemed quite strong. Your minions really pulled their weight. Do we go with Mackerel here? Mackerel's pretty useful, I think. That's pretty good as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to remove, though. Hire a while you can. Uh, Death Rattle's terrible. Buff Taunts. Interesting. That's very interesting, actually. If I do that, I can maybe open with a Cleave. It's still pretty tough, though, I have to say. It's still pretty tough. I think maybe I'll buy one. Try to find, like, an Argus or something. That's pretty good. Yeah, space is just kind of a big problem here. I guess I need to get Poisonous for that, for it to be worthwhile. Yeah, the Battlemaster kills his whole board again, so... But he's probably not gonna die. Actually, it's looking, it's looking pretty bad for him. He, he might die. Oh, no. Ah, big save there. Ghost is very lucky. A good tactical choice. What would I get though? I mean, I guess a lot of attack on that. It was what I would get. I'd sell Light Fang, but not this turn. I'm against the Ghost that I will beat. The Trash Murloc. The Trash Murloc's not going to be a Trash Murloc for very long. It's a Ghost. I killed him. If I remember correctly, he can't win because he can never kill the Battle Master. So there's literally no risk. Before I get poison next round, yeah, I hope not. Your minions really pulled their weight. You down a minion and up a gold. Another satisfied customer. My shield for Argon! I have witnessed the true end time. I didn't like that one either. Yeah, this stuff's all crap. Shouldn't have bought it.
It's free, but it's all crap. I don't I don't need any of his dragons. Wow, that's 90. Okay, that that might be a problem. Now nah, we got it. You're good at this. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. Another satisfied. Bunny's digging for food right now. What a boss. I don't know if I want to give that taunt. Probably don't. Who cares if it's not a good picture? It's the sentiment. Hey, you're really annoying right now. Uh oh, that might be bad. Okay, now we're good. All right, hit it, hit it. Oh, game over, boys. And Menagerie wins again on the back of a Nihilum Battlemaster. Very good.